Now to fix your creaky floor, the first thing we need to do is locate your joist. I'm going to do it by sound, first of all. And what are you listening for? Well, I'm going to listen for the difference in sound. That sounds pretty solid, and that actually sounds hollow. And hollow means that there's no joist. And solid, I think there's a joist right there. Now what I have is a special screw designed for finding the joist. It has a little bit of thread on one end, and it's a long, smooth shaft. So that when I drill this through the rug into the sheathing, if there's no structure there, it should slide on the shaft. Now won't this ruin the carpet? No, Karen, you'll never know I was here. Nothing there, mm -hmm. okay? Now I wanna move over a little. I think there's a joist right here. Nice and solid. Okay, now all I need to do is measure 16 inches to find the next joist. I measure right over here, there's 16 inches. Take this out. And let's try it again. That's it. Okay, now that I've located the joist, all I have to do is tighten the sheathing to the joist system and the creaks will be gone. All right, let me show you. I actually have a system for tightening up the sheathing to the joist without removing the carpet. It's this special screw right here, okay? Now the screw has to be driven in with this attachment and this tripod. Mm -hmm. Now the tripod actually has a stop in it so that when I put the screw in, it'll stop stopping the screw at a certain height off of the subfloor. Now, first thing I want to do is push this down. I'm going to take the screw, put it in my attachment, put it in the hole. Now, the first thing that I have to do, is very important, is stand as close to this tripod as I can, bringing the sheathing tight to the structure. Mm -hmm. Screw it down. <laughs> Now the screw stops off the carpet, okay? Mm -hmm. Now in the tripod, there's a little attachment right there that I can hook it onto the screw head, snap it off. Now try to find that screw. Yeah. Push down hard. Can you feel it? No. All right. That's because this screw is designed to break away at the same spot on every screw right here, which is just below the surface of the subfloor, mm -hmm. okay? Now all I have to do is put these screws all over your floor and you'll be tight. All right, Karen, here's the section of the floor that is really creaky. Yes. Now you know that we've located the joists on both ends of the room mm -hmm. and I've placed a screw where they are, 16 inch on center, but I haven't broken the screw heads off yet. Yes, why is that? Well, I'm gonna use it as a guide or something that I can attach the string line to. Attach the string line there, and I'm going to go down this end of the room down here. I'm going to make the string go around this head right here. Bring it tight. Then I'm going to go to the next screw. Go around. I'm going to go back down this end of the room. Go around. Over to the next. Go down the other end. Go to the next one. Now you can see the joists location under the string, and now we're just going to start screwing it off. Wow, that's a good trick, Tommy. Okay, Karen, now do you want to start screwing the floor off, following the string line, keeping the screws about eight inches apart? Okay. All right, Karen, all the screws are in. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take our tripod and start snapping the heads off. Great. All right, Give it let's a try. try it out. No, no squeaks. Nice and quiet. This is great.